What is up everybody? It's your boy Twinkie. I'm on Black Betty once again coming at you with number three video of the moto vlogation. Yeah, I don't know if that's a word, but if it's not, then it is now. I just made it up. Put me in the dictionary. So today I am accompanied by Mr. Ryan from the last video for anybody that's watched that. We are taking a trip up to Coatesville, Pennsylvania to visit Mama Twinkie at a campground and uh, wanted to see if he wanted to tag along. Enjoy! We are taking the lovely Pennsylvania 345 most of the way to Coatesville to visit Mama which is a-okay with me because I absolutely love this road. So you guys should be happy to hear that I definitely did get more batteries. I bought three more batteries and another charger to accompany my power fleet for my GoPro. So we shouldn't have any more black screens telling you the rest of the story. <laughs> So as I put these videos together, edit them all through, and sit down and watch them back through, there's, there's a lot of things that I find that I, I need to improve on and work on. So hopefully with time and with multiple videos, I'll slowly get better and better. Um, I think I could do a little bit better, for starters, I think I could do a little bit better with my, uh, with my video quality. So. Hopefully, in the near future, I can upgrade to a newer GoPro. This past week has been absolutely terrible with rain. It has literally rained from like 5, 6 o'clock all throughout the night. Every day this past week, Monday through Thursday. Yesterday was the first day where we didn't have any rain all week. But now today, Saturday, they're calling for rain tonight. Uh, it's supposed to start around 8 p.m. the last I checked. So if you couldn't tell already, I uh, added a, an accessory to make my life a little easier. And that would be this lovely John right here, this phone mount. The phone mount has an integrated USB charger in it. And it's up in the front. So I hardwired that in to the, uh, to the circuitry on the bike in the key on circuit. So when I turn the key on, it's got power to charge. And when I turn the key off, it doesn't drain the battery. So I hooked that up this morning. We're testing that out. Seems to be holding my iPhone 6S Plus with an OtterBox pretty well. I did have to pull the rubber, uh, the rubber grommets that were inside these out to get it to, uh, to cover better. Because before, it was only holding on to the rubber part of the outside of the case and it wasn't really holding on to the plastic so now that i got the rubber pieces out of the out of the hooks here it fits a little bit better and it's a little bit more comfortable whoa that was a big old bug <laughs> maybe he saw the camera he's like oh man I'm gonna be famous <laughs> uh, maybe not for a little while buddy <laughs> I'm nowhere near there <laughs> it's, so it's been a, a pretty pretty decent amount of time since I've been up here to this campground and uh, I'm pretty sure I remember how to get there but not 100% <laughs> so we'll see hopefully I don't need to uh, start using the GPS already <laughs> <laughs> and we are here at Birchview Farm Campground. It's 
speed limit is five miles per hour. So first gear at idle. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, we visited Mama Twinkie. She doesn't want to be on YouTube, so that's okay. So Mr. Ryan and I decided that while we are in Coatesville, we are going to take a trip now down to the Conowingo Dam in Maryland just to see the dam. So I'll get some footage of that for you guys. Yeah. Some of this area back here is some of my old stomping ground when I had my uh, my old 79 RM250 two-stroke. That bike was, oh man, it was so good to me. <laughs> I had that thing in fifth gear going down that hill back there hit power band and it lifted up on me and I'm a bigger guy so that's that's saying a lot going downhill <laughs> so we are on PA route 340 right now we are heading technically we're we're heading west we are going to Pennsylvania route 10 and from there we're going to uh, head south and uh, ride right into the uh, Conowingo Dam <laughs> I really wish they had a higher speed limit here. 25 miles per hour. It's such a beautiful day outside. Ay, 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 this is brand new. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Guess I'm digging that out with a pick when I get back. Ay, ay, ay. 66% battery. Hey. Yeah, you want to let them in before us? He looked away. No problem, man. It's a very warm day. Oh, damn. <laughs> I thought that was just like a like your your average trike or something, you know? But that's a, that's like a dune buggy engine or a, or a V-dub engine or something. It might be a Volkswagen engine, an old, uh, old school air cool. She is hand shifting. That is awesome. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh my God. 
Oh, it's got a wheelie bar. <laughs> She's hand shifting. So it definitely is a Volkswagen engine. It sounds pretty badass. So we just got done taking a little break, grabbed a drink. Heading back here to our US-1 turnoff. All right, so the dam is right down here. Susquehanna so State Park, historic port deposit.
we couldn't really find a place besides that last intersection where we could actually get a good look at the dam or, or the water coming out or anything like that but hopefully uh hopefully you guys can see that if not i'm sure there's plenty of videos online from like drones and whatnot that got some up, up close shots bloated deer ew that was a lot of flies on that thing damn <laughs> he pointed at me, he's like, she was waving at you. I'm like, I know. <laughs> Sorry about that, I got carried away. <laughs> it up for today if you like what you saw don't forget to uh, leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit that bell so you're notified when the next video comes out and uh, see ya <laughs> <laughs>